Hello everyone, it's Fluffy, and I'm back with a few more games. Don't have as many as last week, but uh, let's begin. This first map is First Step Into Fog, and I just couldn't resist picking Sonya. I know Andy is definitely the best choice on this map, because Andy's air is very strong. It's very hard to kill Andy's air. You don't want to go copter on copter against Andy. But I haven't played Sonya in so long, and that was all the reason why I picked Sonya. Because Sonya also has decent air, not as strong as Andy's, but I should have expected this. You can't actually see the name of this player because the replay viewer doesn't display these characters, but if you're watching this on YouTube, which you most definitely are, you will you, you will see the name in the title. Anyway, let's begin. Okay. Let's have the vision only be on my side. So I go for the airport first as usual, as well as the neutral base, because transport copter opening, you've seen it once, you've seen it many times, it's obviously, well, it's a, it's a safe opening I would say. There's the transport copter, getting a free boost right away, so that this infantry will only take two to well, three turns instead of four to reach from that base. They start with double recon, which counters the copter opening. And you see what I say about doing the... Actually, I haven't said it yet. What well, you're hearing it now. If you do the same thing every single game, somebody going to try to counter your safe opening. So you do want to mix it up every once in a while. And Recon Aggression definitely punishes uh, early transports. Um, don't know why I sent the infantry down to the center first. I think I was just playing too quickly. Definitely should have went for this capture chain up here before I went down. Got another boost over here to capture this property a turn sooner. I, I guess my artillery playstyle is also easily punished by early recon aggression. So, I don't know if this is the case, but it's entirely possible that my opponents uh, checked my game history and just counterplayed me with the opening. Another artillery, I need to get a tank soon. trap that recon, but uh, I don't actually have a punish because I do... I'm not going to do artillery opening next time I play this map. I'm going to uh, change things up a bit to not be as predictable as this game. I need. I definitely need a tank to deal with that recon, or perhaps an anti-air. So I'm still deciding what vehicle I should build here. I ultimately chose to take a tank. But it's also the reason why I didn't move my transport all the way back, because I'm not picking up another mech anyway. Recon interrupts the capture. Alright. I typically give up the center because I usually expect my opponent to send vehicles there and then while they're busy in the center I try to push hard but 
I don't think it's as effective against an opponent who rushes the sides and prevents me from establishing a push in, to begin with. There's the tank, kills my recon. I'm Sonya, why do I build recons? Like, I'm not going to deny these captures, I can deny it with the artillery. I think the recon was definitely a bad play. There's the preemptive anti airs. If you're Andy, you might as well just go for the copters instead of anti air. Well, you do want anti air for sure, but I don't know. Maybe copters are better. Would be better first since you can take on the copter and copter on copter engagements and just heal your copters back up afterwards. I decide to wipe out the recon to get rid of vision, and then support my tank with an artillery. And I also wipe out the uh, infantry on the mountain to deny vision, but they can just set another infantry on it to get vision. I also built my preemptive anti-air. And there's the double battle copters. Battle copters definitely help a lot with your unit count. So I get my second artillery here to continue denying this property, but it doesn't really do much considering he took the sensor. My strategy of pressuring the side only works if I actually get the properties, but that early recon really slowed me down. Perhaps this Battlecopter is also a little too forward. If they get a mech on the mountain, they will have vision on it. Maybe it's better that I move it one tile back, where it can still cover my entire army, but it also won't risk getting spotted. At the same time, I also don't want the tank to hit my anti-air considering how strong Battlecopters are, so I guess this is why I ultimately chose to move my Battlecopter here. Battlecopter, mech, okay, well this mech spots everything. I definitely saw this artillery move in, but the Battlecopter shot is so tempting. I did not want to risk failing the luck roll because Sonya, so I moved my tank back and finished it with the Battlecopter instead. And then I went to take shots at the mech. I also shifted my battle, uh, my transport copter to the left side because I wanted to be more aggressive over here and send the foot soldiers up more quickly. But. That does mean my this side is rather weak, I suppose. Okay. No, my mech! Ah, I should have used my transport copter to bring more mechs. Well, I got my superpower from this. Uh, not that it's... So I see everything, um, I definitely go for a recon. Perhaps it's better if I uh, sit on this property to attack the recon so that my mech can cover the artillery. So that is a slight inaccuracy I believe by me. Have to finish the kill. Against Andy you have to finish kills, otherwise he will just heal everything up. Um. As for why I chose to attack the infantry, I may have miscounted the tiles my vehicles could move. 
apparently, apparently, none of my tanks actually could reach the artillery. So... Um... That, there was that. But I definitely do want to kill the anti-air. And I have to finish it off, otherwise Annie will just heal it. So... I'm putting... Vehicles in range of that artillery. I might as well just commit to it, go all in. There's already... the artillery's getting a shot one way or another, so what's one more in its range going to do? And I put a mech here so that it's... it can uh, hit the uh, ar artillery next turn. Alright. There's the hyper upgrade. Using the hyper upgrade, uh, I I would have used it before uh, or before this attack because what's a tank going to do to a battle copter? I rather could just get the firepower bonus. You, even if this is damage, you will just heal it up anyway. And a nine HP copter still gets one shot by anti air regardless. So from here, this is looking pretty bad, but I'll take the shot. I'll take the shots where I know I'm going to take. Um, again, perhaps I should have attacked from the property instead of the instead of the planes, just so I could get a little bit more defense bonus. But I don't think it really mattered too much. And I really wanted the luck roll here. Sonya... I wanted to uh, break through so that I could send my tank to attack from the other side, maybe. But you know how Sonya's bad luck is. You just... you. This is uh, one of the main reasons why Andy counters Sonya. It's partially because Annie can just heal up the counter break after the counter break. But it's also because bad luck means Annie can survive these attacks. And if Annie survives attacks, the units will come back healed up. And so, there was no point in continuing to attack here. I would just be extending way too far. Ah, my mech! At this point, it's clear that Sonya loses to Andy. Andy just counters Sonya way too... It's also stuff like this. If you're Andy, you really force your opponent to make bad decisions because they have to kill it off, otherwise they would just come back. But at the same time... No, he survived! But as I was saying, you have to try to go in and finish the kill because if you don't kill they will just heal up and Andy will get so much value from it. Perhaps this tank should have attacked from here where it can be covered by my airports. So that was another thing I could have improved on. But I don't. It doesn't really matter. In uh, Sonya versus Andy, Andy just has way too much of an advantage here. This infantry got trapped by the anti-air, I believe. Moving these tanks back to heal them up later. No, where, where did that infantry go? Oh, what? 
It got trapped by this mech, okay. If I don't kill it, it will come back. Unfortunately, that I am extending quite a lot. And Battle Copter doesn't have the coverage of that tank. So, but still, um, let's just speed this up because the game is pretty much over by now. Um, so as I said in uh, my 100 sub special, losing isn't might not be fun, but there's a lot you can learn from it. And from what I can learn, is that... What did I learn? Hmm. I got a brain for it right now. I, like, I, I had an idea of what I wanted to say. But... Uh, on a... Oh yeah. It's what I said at the very start of the game. If we go all the way to the beginning, we can see Annie starts with a double recon opening, which perfect, which uh, really punishes transport, like early transport, and my heavy artillery playstyle. Typically, I go artillery first. Recons also counter that as. Artillery, there's no way artillery can chase a recon down. And artillery is also somewhat vulnerable to recons. So the lesson is... Change up the opening every once in a while. If you just keep doing the same thing, you will get predictable and... People will be able to hard counter whatever you whatever you're doing because you, you'll see this theme come up again so that was this game <laughs>